follow New Testament words for living as a disciple speak of following the master, the rabbi, the teacher, listening to them, absorbing them and indeed imitating them. And so being a disciple of Jesus means imitating our saviour. This is the work of the Holy Spirit in us, making us more like Jesus in increasing measure, helping us to become ever more effective in his service as a channel of his grace. This is fruitfulness in the kingdom, which involves both exercising the gifts of the Spirit and displaying the fruit of the Spirit. The spiritual discipline involved here is that before fruitfulness, there's usually pruning. The good news is that the one doing the pruning is the one who knows us best, the divine gardener. Changing the metaphor, the silversmith works with the raw metal, puts it in the crucible, boils it up and scrapes off the crud that comes to the surface. And he continues to boil up and scrape off until he can see a true reflection of himself in the pure metal. This is being described as a season for refining, for purifying. Wouldn't it be a shame if this transforming work of God wasn't seen in the people who were becoming when we return to church together? This has been described as a season of interruption, a moment where God has given us this opportunity to allow him to be the gardener, the silversmith, the surgeon, because it might mean that there are things that need removing, things that need destroying. Sometimes these are things that have been okay before, but now are no longer right for the journey that we're about to go on. Or sometimes we've taken something back and yet it needed to have been destroyed. The devil is always trying to claim back what was once his. When you buy a new mobile phone or even just a SIM, then you get the option to wipe out the things you don't need anymore and yet retain the things that you do. Well, God is the God of the reset. And his sifting and sewing is always purposeful. Think of the surgeon. He doesn't operate just so that he can admire his own work with the scalpel and the needle. He does it for the benefit of the body. And in the same way, God is purposeful in our lives for the benefit of his body, the church. And this is essentially for the good of those who aren't even yet part of the body. God has given us a window of opportunity so that he can make us more like him. He is the one doing the gardening, the silver refining, the surgery. He is the one doing the sifting and the sowing, preparing us, making us more like him. And so, if that means there's a gentle nudge or a clear voice, maybe there's something that needs to change, maybe something that needs to slow down or something that just needs to go totally, whatever it is, then let God be God in every aspect of your life and bring fruit for his kingdom. That's step two. Next time, we'll be looking more at how we might receive his word, see his vision and take hold of all that he has for us. In the meantime, keep praying, keep reading his word and be blessed as he resets our lives. Amen.